All righty then, we're back. Didn't take that long, about 80 pounds. 80 pounds, top mix. And uh, boy, I wetted, wetted down the bricks and the underline and uh, filled in, filled in. How about this side over here? Night and day, night and day. I don't know if you remember just a second ago where I showed that gap up there, but night and day. Then the other thing is when you're dealing with contractors, especially when you're up on the roof, out of sight, out of mind, you can't see, always verify this one's not so bad that they got the backside. Because I've seen jobs where they, they couldn't reach the backside without some problems and they didn't bother to uh, do the work that they uh, were paid for. So always ask for pictures and video when you're having work like this done. Uh, there's no reason why they shouldn't, whoever's doing the work shouldn't be able to provide that. And also always verify that the hard sections the hard to reach sections got coverage of those because those would be the areas they skimp out on because if it's hard for them to reach it's even harder for you to reach and for you to uh, view whether or not it was done appropriately looks pretty good actually in my opinion and uh, love to come back three three and five years from now, see how well it holds up. The problem with my type of profession is this squeaky wheel gets the grease. We get calls when there's a problem, but uh, we don't get uh, annual or every three or four year calls for just follow up and uh, you know that type of thing. Which So we, a lot of times we'll do a job like this and we may never see it again. Uh, probably for every job like I, this that I do, I may go back five years later for an inspection or a chimney cleaning or something else and get to view the work that I did five years earlier. It's just rare. One out of, one out of a few hundred, I would say. Uh, I wish it was more. I wish it was more like one out of 25. Better ratio. If you have a chimney, especially if you're masonry chimney, or even if you have a prefab chimney, even if you never burn, you want to have a chimney professional come out every three years minimum to do a chimney inspection, top and bottom. Because I can't tell you the number of times that I've had customers that had uh, that never burnt. They're selling the house. The buyer's inspector uh, comes in and flags something on the chimney, and it's a water-related issue, such as what was going on with this. And a lot of times, these water-related issues can be caught early and save you some money. The longer you go, it's kind of, I hate to use the analogy, it's like cancer. It gets worse and worse and worse. So you want to have a chimney professional come out at a minimum every three years, at least to do an inspection. Inspection should be a little bit cheaper than your normal service call. You're still not pay something because you got to pay what their time and expertise is worth, but it's money well spent. I can't tell you the number of times, as a matter of fact, last year I had no less than 10 jobs where a minor water problem was allowed to go on for a decade and ended up costing the customer in potential repairs of having to get out a prefab unit or prefab units of upwards of $10,000 to $20,000. Something probably could have been caught early on and fixed with $100 to $500. And now they're in a situation where they can't use their fireplace, they've been made aware of the problem and now they can't even sell the house without making the next buyer aware. So no matter what, they either got to reduce the price, the, the amount of the repair, or they got to cough up the money to fix it. Uh, water and fireplaces, not your best friends. They don't like each other. So have someone such as myself or any reputable chimney company come out every three years and have your chimney inspected. This is Eric. Please like, subscribe, and leave any comments. I follow up on every comment. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. And once again, this is April 2023, northwest side of Houston, Texas, and a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a good day.